Um, today I finally am doing the Q&A I had promised a few weeks ago. Um, partly because it's about time to do it. Um, you asked a few questions and I think it's just fair to answer them. And also because uh, I was contacted by uh, a small TV uh, that wanted some recorded answers, so I thought isn't that the perfect occasion? So I'm going to start with the three questions from the TV channel, um, mainly because it's the regular questions that I get asked all the time. What is what it is you do? How do you create miniature foods? Um, I consider myself an artist. Um, in the beginning I started in 2008 I started to sculpt miniature food and to sell them. I was very self-conscious in the beginning uh, and, and didn't quite dare to call myself an artist. Um, mainly because in France it's very snobby, to say the least. So uh, I always said, yeah, I sculpt miniature food, I'm a miniaturist or stuff like that. And at some point I was like, no. I am an artist and if you don't like it then that's too bad because I do stuff that has no particular use and I create and I sculpt so it's it's just it's just a word really it's nothing fancy or anything it's not like art is that fancy thing that nobody can attain I think in the moment you create something new or something personal then you can call yourself an artist, so don't be shy. So yeah, this is what I do. I sculpt for a living. Uh, I love to sculpt and I mostly sculpted miniature food for the past um, yeah, eight years. And now I'm evolving, so I'm a bit in a transitional phase. Uh, I don't know myself where I'm going. I just know that I have uh, more or less done most of the miniature food I wanted so now I'm a bit meh I, I want to do something else but I still like to sculpt so I see myself more as a sculptor so yes this is what I do what inspired you to start doing this I think like most artists or most creative people they always did something in their life. It's not like you, you do nothing and suddenly when you turn 20 you're like I'm going to start making something. It's more like you always draw or sculpt or, or I did some beading or some knitting, I painted, stuff like that. And then at some point you find the uh, medium or the technique or the theme that you love and that is going to grab your uh, that going to grab you for the coming eight years, maybe more. So uh, I've always wanted to become an artist, and I've always wanted to do things with my hands. But in 2007, I was still an architecture student, and um, I didn't find a summer job, so I went to Berlin, and uh, because. Of I don't really have friends in Berlin, my parents live there, but I never really lived in Berlin, so I don't know many people. And I'm not the outgoing person that will just go and party. I don't really like to party anyway. But I was in Berlin and was like, what am I going to do with all those seven weeks I have in front of me? And so I thought, okay, why not find a new kind of craft, new kind of thing to create? And so I was googling and somehow I stumbled upon miniature food and I was like I want to do that. that, that that looks awesome. And so I googled a bit further to find the technique or you know how to start the thing and uh, I found you could use polymer clay so off I went and I bought some polymer clay and well it started like this. And then quickly I realized I just love doing this, so I, I made it my job. Anyway, what sort of response have you had from viewers online? Good ones? 
I don't have anything else to say. I mean, I had one or two trolls maybe who were really mean to me, but overall I, I have good feedback. People like what I do and they are usually nice and they say so. So sometimes I have like an unasked critique, but it's never really mean. It's just like an opinion that I don't really care for, but mostly good. Okay, and now we are going through the questions that you asked. Okay, many other people actually asked what inspired me to start. Uh, miniature Paradigm, Conchise Shop, The Curiosity Shop. So I suppose I just answered that, so I don't, I don't need to go back. The Curiosity Shop on Instagram asked how did you get into the miniatures business? I would absolutely love it as a job. Uh, I hated it as a job. So <laughs> I just fell into the miniature world. Um, but I don't really have an interest in miniatures. I mean, um, in the dollhouse miniature world. I mean, some things I really like. I like ceramics in real, so I really like ceramics in miniature, but I'm, I'm digressing. Um, I, I sort of fell into it. It's like I wanted to sculpt miniature food, but I didn't want to keep it for myself because I didn't know what to do with it. So I started selling and then I discovered the whole dollhouse miniature world. And at that point, uh, I don't know, I just went into it, I guess, and I started selling. And my goal was to, to always make better miniature food, always to improve my work. And so I kept selling. So no special... I probably had the luck to find the good people or the nice people who helped me in, but I never really uh, managed to really integrate myself in the community because, as I said, I don't really care for dollhouse miniatures. It's not something I collect and it's not something I, I'm interested in. I don't follow um, dollhouse miniatures at all. I follow fine art mostly and sculpture and I love miniature sculptures and certain miniature artists but as a whole it's not something I'm much interested in. So I don't really help. I, su I suppose you can join um, groups of miniaturists and then on Facebook you have many miniature groups. I will try to check if I find something else and just check below um, and I put some links about it, okay? Then um, Apsi the Awesome asked how much clay do you own and where do you get your tools? Uh, I, I own about um, three uh, boxes of this of polymer clay that is um, unopened and then here behind of me I have all the, theme, the mixed colors of clay so I like eight boxes of these but they're not full and for the tools I don't care about tools much I I still like I still like toothpicks the most and then uh, my boyfriend sometimes buys me tools because he, <laughs> he thinks it's cool and I like it but I don't know um, I don't have any preferences I think you sculpt with whatever you have on hands and that's the best way to go and then sometimes you like to buy, buy certain things, but I might do a video about my favorite tools. Then it's maze. What are the things that inspire you the most and how would you define art and creativity? What do they represent to you and your life? I think it always depends what I'm interested in. So right now it's very much bugs and insects and odd creatures and when I was making more miniature food, any kind of food would inspire me. And I think the only um, specific um, thread that is linking all of my work are colors and textures. I'm always very much into colors and textures. Um, I like odd things as long as there are tons of colors in them and the texture is interesting. So that was the first part and then... Um, how would you define art and creativity? Honestly, um, I thought about it a lot. I mean, what's art is such a difficult question, especially when you are an artist, you cannot help 
but question and doubt your work all the time. It's also what pushes you to become better and to evolve. But in a way, I think the more I go and the less I actually care. I mean, at some point for me art uh, had to be very precisely defined and now I'm like, I don't care, you know, I, I just, I do stuff and um, I make things and I, I, I see myself in as, as an artist and yeah, that's about it. So basically I think art is um, the power of humans um, to create from scratch. And, and so for me, uh, you can find art in cooking as well, or in, I don't know, uh, fashion, or gardening, engineering. For me, art is, is that very um, unprecise thing that makes humans human. So for me, um, that's art. And creativity is the ability to, to think of new things, to create from scratch. Not everyone is able to do that, and that's fine. But some people, they're able to make something from scratch, and that's creativity to me. And when... I don't really know how to answer what do they represent to you in your life. I mean, I... I I breathe creativity and art, so to speak. I, it's my it's my reason to live, if that makes sense. I mean, I, I don't... The only thing that, ma that really matters in my life is creating. That's the only thing that really makes sense. I mean, all the rest is like, I don't think life has much point. I see life as mostly pointless. And I don't, you know, I'm like, okay, and I'm not into the love makes everything better. I'm, I'm just not so romantic either. So I'm like, I'm enjoying all those things. Life can be beautiful and, and fascinating and it is worth living. So for me, the only thing, thing that makes sense is to create. So I hope that answers your question. The Crafty Canteen asked, have you ever gone to art school? In fact, I have been, I have been, I've been one year into art university. It sucked, mostly. Uh, I was not happy there. And it was more of a, I don't know, a mistake I guess I mean now when I think about it it was not a mistake and I learned but I and you always learn stuff when you go to school and university even if you don't really plan to I suppose even if I would have uh, had ancient Greek I would have learned something useful for my life so I did one year of art university but I didn't like it there mainly because I really don't like contemporary art most of the time scratch that it's like the most acclaimed contemporary art that I don't like. I very much enjoy what the popular art right now is because it's very colorful. But like the most acclaimed stuff like uh, Damien Hirst and stuff like that, I'm like, no. So uh, I didn't like the whole world and I thought it was kind of silly because as long as you had a very good um, story behind your artwork then you would get a good grade even if your artwork was kind of shitty. And so I was like, no, I don't want to do that. And so I did architecture instead and I'm an, a graduate architect even though I never worked as an architect. Lana Rodri and Isofia12 asked what was the, the first thing that you've ever made or the first miniature. Well, the first miniature I ever made was bread, miniature bread, as an adult, because as a kid I would sculpt uh, miniature food for my Barbie dolls, but I suppose <laughs> that's something else. Um, I'm going to show you both pictures if I find them on my computer of my first miniature bread. Here you go, and of my first well, miniature food as a kid for my Barbie dolls. Voila! Okay, Grace White on Facebook asked 
in French, which is sweet because she is English, so thank you for the effort. Combien d'heures tu travailles chaque jour? How many hours do you work every day? And that very much depends. Sometimes I will start at 8 and finish at midnight, and sometimes I will work just one hour or two. Most of the time, though, I work from 9 to 12, then I cook because my boyfriend comes home at lunch, and then I will work from 2 to 7, 8, and usually maybe one hour extra in the evening, but less now. I'm I'm learning to cut myself some slack. And I hardly work on weekends this year because um, last year I worked too much, so this year I'm changing. I have another question about tools. I really think I'm going to make a specific um, video about that. And another, I've got a short video, but seriously, that needs a video as well. Um, in the meantime, you can check my website um, for my uh, bio uh, so you know how old I am and stuff like that and the lastly best question from Oliver in heaven do you have a favorite kind of hat both to wear and for other people to wear I really had to laugh at that one because it's quirky and like I love that kind of question so I'm not really um, into fashion much I mean, I like to dress in colors, obviously, but that's about it. So I wear hats, but I wear them in a practical way. I'm surely going to regret this, but I wear two hats. One in winter, which is like, you know, kind of... I have no clue how I look like, so I hope I don't look too awful. So I wear this in winter because, you know, then I'm, I'm toasty and warm, especially when I go to Berlin. So this. And then in summer I wear... Oh gosh, I'm really going to get that. That kind of things. Yeah, because, you know, sun cream. So, do, you, do I look nice? Do I, do I look nice? You can say no, I don't care. So, I wear that kind of things. And since I don't really have an interest in fashion, I have no clue what hats I actually would like on others, because I never look at how people are dressed. Unless they are very colorfully dressed, or it's like eccentric or something like that. Then I will look because I'm like, ah, oh, yay, colors! But all the rest, I mean, just, I don't really care. So, awesome questions, but I'm sorry, the answer kind of sucks. So, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I realized it was kind of fun for me. I like doing this, so just let me know if you if you like the one-to-one -one approach, I guess. <laughs> and if, if you have more questions, ask! Maybe if I have enough questions, I make um, a follow-up. Um, okay, so thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe if you have not yet done so. Um, I will mostly do some sculpting here anyway, so less chatting, more, more action. More action. I'm an action girl. <laughs> and well, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!